This is the Johns Hopkins University of Medicine Coronavirus Resource Center map. <clears throat> it's a fairly comprehensive map. I imagine as comprehensive as it gets. And it shows the confirmed cases of the coronavirus in the world. And I'm just sharing with you different perspectives on this map. I'll just give you the overall right now. <clears throat> and then I will talk about different parts in different videos. The reason I do that is that this is a fair amount of information and I think that you might be interested, but from different perspectives. So this is here on the top left is the total confirmed cases, 732,153. Down here you can see by country and the United States is currently at the top with 143,000 zero fifty five US cases. Here it is by with the dots representing uh, numbers of cases. So uh, let's see. It's the size of the dot shows the number of cases. So if you look here and you see large dots, then you can see that there are large numbers of cases. And I'm not sure that I really care about that one. Okay. This is the cumulative view. On this side of cases, confirmed cases, on this side is the cumulative view of total deaths and total recovered. So here, total deaths is 34,686. Total confirmed is 732,153. Total recovered is 154,673. So, um, of 82,198, in China, 75,916 are recovered, 3,308 are um, deceased. So that's a total of, uh, say, 76, 79,000. You would presume that there are several thousand, 3,000 or more in China with the virus. Okay, and I'm going to refresh the total screen. I wonder if I can do it if I do that. Oh, no, 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 no. Here we go. And then over in the lower right corner, you will see the curve of com confirmed cases cumulatively, logarithmic, daily increase, so it's a really nice map. I will terminate this now.
because this is the overview. And then I want to focus on different aspects of the map, but I'll do that in other videos.